Hey everybody, it's Marvin with SEO for Beginners and this is episode 9. And during episode 9 we talk about analytics. So there's a lot of analytical tools out there that you probably may have heard of. But because this is the SEO for Beginners guide, I'm just going to focus on the most popular one and the free one. So it also happens to be owned and run by the most popular search engine in the world. You know that search engine, it's Google. And that analytical tool that we're talking about is so cleverly named Google Analytics. So I could go on for hours and talk about all the cool insights that you can do in Google Analytics. There's so much things that you can explore and find, do, it's, it's just insane. But like I said, it's just a SEO for beginners guide. So instead, I'm just going to focus on some of the key insights that you can analyze that are going to, that's going to help you improve your SEO efforts and not overwhelm you. So, the most important thing though is that you're actually measuring and you're beginning to find out what your results are. After all, if you can measure it, you can improve it. Peter Drucker, important quote. So, assuming you have Google Analytics installed on your site, it's really simple to install, there's five key areas that we're going to talk about today and it's going to directly affect the SEO efforts that you're doing. Yes, I know there's a ton more out there for you more advanced users that may be watching this, but these five are just some of my favorites. The first one we'll talk about, referrals. Referrals show where traffic is coming from, all the different websites that your traffic is coming from, and it's not including search engines. So this is really helpful because it's going to help you find all those really new cool links that you earned. You can find out what your greatest content is, what your best content is. So if you're smart, Maybe you can email the website owner and ask if the link could be adjusted or enhanced for a little bit more link juice. You know, maybe add a keyword in that link or whatever the case is. But those are referrals. Queries. Queries let you see the keywords that you're ranking for in Google and how many people are clicking on your actual page. This is going to better help you make strategic decisions as to what keywords to start targeting and what keywords you should focus on more. Now, to view query queries, you're going to have to install Webmaster Tools, which is a whole other episode, a whole other d discussion. Landing pages. Landing pages is going to show you how awesome the content is that you're creating. And it's going to do that by telling you how many people are actually entering your site through a particular landing page. So, this is going to let you make strategic adjustments. Maybe you have a really cool landing page out there that a lot of people are finding your site through. And it's going to allow you to make adjustments for better conversions. You know, maybe you put a contact form on there. Maybe you put a free download to get somebody's email address. You know, it's going to allow you to adjust your future content marketing. So the next one is goals, right? Goals just allows you to track people signing up for things, emails, paying for products, uh, signing up for your contact form. Uh, really what a goal does is allows you to track how many people went to a particular page, like a thank you page. And you know that if somebody went to that thank you page, that they obviously bought that product, they obviously filled out a contact form, or maybe they signed up for an email subscription. So getting to that thank you page triggers a goal. The next one is landing page device category. Wow, that's a mouthful. And I'm showing you all these things on SEOforbeginners.com, so don't get too worried if you're just watching this video on YouTube. Go to SEOforbeginners.com and you can see all these things. So, looking at the device category under landing pages allows you to see which pages are being entered on your site through mobile phones. So, there's a few other things that we'll talk about real quick, just to, to note. You know, ha seeing a high bounce rate on a landing page can really hurt your rankings. You want to keep your bounce rate really under 55%. Length of time on your site. If you have a low length of time on your site, it can really hurt your rankings. If Google sees people going to your website, bouncing or leaving in a very quick amount of time, they're going to think your content's bad. So make sure your length of time on site is high. So the next thing that we'll talk about is basically how long people are staying on your site and how many pa pages they're traveling to. Right? So if they're traveling to a lot of pages, that's good. The click-through rate, you know, how many people are, are going from page to page to page on your site, the more the better. Google wants to see how much engagement that you have on your site. That's super important for your rankings. So, in conclusion, these are just a few of the important things that you can find in Google Analytics. Again, I encourage you to go to SEOforbeginners.com if you're not already there and really follow along in some of the visuals that I provided. So again, this is just 
a beginner's guide. There's a ton more stuff that you can explore in Google Analytics. And I hope this has given you a brief introduction into analytics. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you on the next episode.